Hi friends, Pam Shepard with Pamela Shepard Productions here. And here we go with the crazy quilt as you go, Mackenzie Childs Inspired. I love this. I love, love, love making this. So here we go. Okay, so here you see my camera had stopped, so I went ahead without showing you. But the very center piece that looks black with writing on it, it has five different sides. That's kind of the point to begin with. Have a different amount of sides so that you can come off of it with other fabric. The one I'm sewing on there is very diamond-shaped courtly check, and I just sewed it, as you can see, right along the side of one of the edges. And then I iron it between every single time so that it's nice and flat. And then as you'll see, I'll turn it over and then we can trim the back off the longer piece. I love doing this because it's at random. It's so at random and it's really fun to do it that way. Okay, so as you're adding a piece, you want to make sure you have a piece big enough to cover the bottom part of your fabric and then you want to go you want to put your fabric face to face you know main part or top part to top part and then turn it over you want only want to do about an eighth of an inch seam you don't want to do your standard quarter inch because you don't want a lot of fabric underneath there and I'm really sorry about this lighting it's awful but we got it all set up better for the next video but anyhow see you want to do about an eighth of an inch seam and then right sides together and now you flip it over and I ironed it probably before I uh, showed it here on the video and then you trim it off. Isn't that nice? I love it. I chose out several different fabrics that were very McKinsey Childs and I loved it. It was so nice. I really, really loved it a lot. Once again, you want to put those right sides together and then you'll do about an eighth of an inch seam across one of the places, depends on where you want to put it on the quilt block. And there you go. You just stitch it down about an eighth of an inch. Turn it over. You want to iron it so that it's nice and flat and then trim it around. And see how cool that is? I just, I think this is a way cool way of doing a quilt and it looks so nice and so upscale. I love it. One nice thing, it almost doesn't even matter what color thread that you use. I happen to be using a, a cream colored thread that I had on the machine working on a different quilt and it, it doesn't even really matter because you just flip it over. It's so fun. I can hardly wait till we get to start it embellishing it. It's so way cool. You can actually start your centerpiece with any amount of sides on it that you want. I've been, I, the two that I did so far, I did I think five different little sides just so that I'd have other options to come off of it and go with a different quilt. But see, look, I ended up doing one big long strip across two pieces and it ended up just being fabulous. I don't think you can actually go wrong no matter what you do. Once again, so sorry about this lighting. I do have it corrected in some spots. And certainly for the next video, we have it totally corrected. I wasn't even going to show you this section because the lighting is so bad. But there was a rounded piece on the fabric uh, square that I had. See that black, this black striped one? And I wanted to try doing a rounded piece with it. So I chose a red piece and I actually ended up pinning it. I don't know why I used such a humongous piece of red fabric. <laughs> it was just, that was crazy. But anyhow, I thought this really turned out pretty fun. <laughs> if you can see it at all, I thought it turned out pretty fun. I 
ironing it in between each time is really important because it really puts it down flat so that when you trim it, you've trimmed it correctly and you know that all your pieces are going to fit. It, it's a really important step. On this piece of fabric, I just loved how it told where the fabric came from and the label on it. So I just left it there. I thought it would, I thought that added so much to it. So I didn't, I didn't turn it over and you know put right sides together. I just sewed it down because I wanted that to show. I thought that was pretty cool. Here you go again, putting right sides together, depending which little angle you want to sew it on. And then you only put about an eighth of an inch so that when you sew it, you don't have a bunch of gathered up fabric underneath there because we are going to embellish it and it's going to look fabulous, I promise. Here's a black and white floral print that I also picked out that I thought was very flattering and went so nice with this Mackenzie Childs inspired uh, crazy quilt. I thought it was so lovely and I thought it would just look nice throughout the whole entire quilt. Okay, some of the edges were loose where I had sewn one portion of it down, but the other portion wasn't sewn down. So I went ahead and just sewed it right on top of the quilt, right on the face of it, because I was going to embellish those lines anyhow. And so it just worked out really well. Okay, now here we go for the fun stuff, the embellishing. You can use basically anything. You can use anything from ribbons to trims to appliques, anything that you want to use, little flowers, and also doing some embroidering yourself. It works out really nice. Here I'm taking some appliques and I'm trimming them down to fit the area that I thought was would look nice and didn't seem too overwhelming and big and I just thought it really looked good. I'm just going to keep on cutting away until it looks like the place that I want it to look.
Just let your creativity run away with you. Just use anything. There's buttons, there's zippers, there's anything that you can find around your sewing area in your craft room, just pieces of trim. It's wonderful. When my mama passed away, my papa gave me her button uh, tin, and I have just loved that. There were so many old fun buttons and garters. I'm going to put garters on some of these. Some people put gloves, just some really nice old fashioned gloves or lacy gloves, anything. It's just wonderful. Of course, it seems anything I do, I have to have this shabby chic touch to it because I am so in love with shabby chic. But this has been such a fun project for me. And as you can see, I try many different things and then I'll take it off and put something else on. And it is it is really very fun and relaxing. And you can even take your little, your little square block with you to watch a movie on TV or watch something and take your little thread and needle and stitch some of the um, embellishments on it. Or as you'll see, I use the sewing machine to do some of the embellishments as well. The backing I'm going to use for this quilt is a black. It's not exactly solid black. There is a little bit of a very minute, very gentle um, design through it. But there will be black all the way around every single block because I'm going to do so as you go, a quilt as you go, just like I did the other quilt, and it will be black. So there'll be black around every single block. So I have to remember that as I'm trying to add all the different embellishments. Also, we have to remember there's going to be a quarter inch of the black um, backing that goes all the way around it. So you've got to leave your embellishments away from the edges just a little bit because we've got to fold the edges over about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So don't forget about that. Isn't this crazy fun? I think that's why they call it Crazy Quilt, because <laughs> it's crazy fun and I love it. Okay, several of these trims that I'm using I purchased at Hobby Lobby when they were 40% off or sometimes 50% off and I just get a yard or two while I'm there just to keep on hand for different things. That was a kind of a large trim but I was able to just cut one piece of it off and use it and I also brought down several um, pieces of small metal pieces that I thought would be nice. I mean, as you can see on that plastic lid, I brought it downstairs from my craft room down to the dining room table, but um, you can actually put some on your quilt. It will pretty much be hand washed more than likely. My mother-in-law taught me to embroider when I was just a very young, very young woman. And so I purchased this book the other day to just remember a bunch of the different stitches that she taught me and, and show you exactly how to do it. It's A to Z. Um, I will put it down in the lower part of my video so that you can maybe purchase that. I purchased it on Amazon and I really like it. It's very nice. Um, I might do one of those feather stitches right there on that particular fabric. and. I think it's really nice. It's a very, very uh, informative book.
Yeah, I'll have it down in the description so that you can go ahead and click on that. It's really quite reasonably priced as well. Here I'm going to sew several different pieces of the laces and the embellishments right on the sewing machine. I had the cream, uh, whitish cream thread in there, and so it worked out perfectly. It was really nice. The other pieces I uh, sewed on, I used different colored thread with thread and needle, and it was fun. And a couple of places I even did a little crisscross uh, embroider, but I'm going to do some more embroidering because I always liked that. I thought that was fun. You can totally lay it out and make sure that you're going to like the way it looks before you actually stitch it down, or you can change it around if you don't like it. It's it's really crazy. It is a crazy quilt as you go, for sure. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I love having you comment. And, and how many of you are going to try making this crazy quilt? I'd like to hear from you. And if you do, I'd really like to see what you're doing. Those of you that are my regular subscribers, oh my gosh, I adore you. I think you are so wonderful. Thank you for your comments and thank you for uh, always asking me different questions. I love that and I love answering your questions. Please feel free to ask anything that you need to on these videos. I think that's great. Okay, here you go with some of Mama's buttons. These are really old and they have almost like a little metallic thing around those black ones. And then I thought a white one would be really nice in there as well. Okay, and I had to add a little bling bling to this one. I love bling bling and shabby chic. They just go hand in hand, right? God bless you all so much. And thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next video, okay? We'll see all you good people later. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.